Bam Bam Milan. Welcome back to the channel. So this is Kicks World where we talk everything about sneakers, lifestyle, travel, and a little bit of everything in between. And today we're going to be talking about the New Balance 327s. Let's get it. So we're going to be talking about the New Balance 327s. Something I'm very excited about guys. I actually been wanting to wear these pair but uh, like I haven't done a review for them so I was just like oh Mark just wear them after you make the review wow. because they look so cool oh my gosh I've tried them on already uh, they're so comfortable they're so light and I'll probably go straight into it uh, stay true to size guys with this a sneaker because the materials are like nylon suede and little bits of leather on these. So it's like really stretchy material. So if you've got a wide foot like me, it doesn't matter, uh, you know, because it like, you know, it kind of conforms to you, the shape of your foot. So it's okay. Uh, so yeah, something that's really, really like a big tick on my book. But uh, yeah, look at them guys, they're so beautiful. So this one I got is called the Castle Rock and Indigo Colorway. And uh, guys, these, um, uh, I don't even know why, but these 327 silhouettes, they sell out straight away. Well, anyway, in my size, they sell out straight away. So if you do like a colorway that you like, definitely buy them straight away uh, because you never know by the time you like kind of, you know, inspiration to buy it, it might already be sold out. And I'm not even kidding. Like, uh, it's really weird that like every time I try to look for a certain colorway, it's already sold out. So that's why even this one, I think it was the last one. And when I bought it, it was just like, okay, oh, whew. Lucky I actually uh, got into it. So um, I bought these from the New Balance uh, Australian website for 150 Australian dollars, not including shipping. And uh, yeah, it's it's something that you can probably buy as well from, I think it was Platypus Hype. Up this store, sell it as well. But if you can buy it from your local places, definitely check out your local businesses first, guys, because of this COVID-19. And that's another thing. These uh, originally were supposed to come out, I think around April 3rd in the Casablanca collaboration colorway, but it got pushed to April 18 because of COVID-19. So COVID-19 even affected these sneakers and it's affecting a lot of uh, local businesses. So always support your local businesses, guys. So there have been a multitude of colorways that have been released for these ones. My favorite one being the, uh, you know, the gray or gray day or I like to call them, uh, versions of them, uh, which are selling for around, you know, 300, Australian dollars on stock X. Well, that's the only place I could find them and uh, you know, so yeah, as I said before they're selling out guys So definitely if you like a colorway definitely jump onto it straight away and uh, it, It's hard to go wrong with these guys. It's it's such a nice sneaker as I might have mentioned before the uh, Materials are it's got suede. It's got nylon and a little bits of leather on it so this the suede parts or the panels come in three different colors you can see there there's indigo there there's like a, a bright navy over here and also a black one on the mudguard and then we also got the, uh, the the bright navy on the heel counter and i gotta say my favorite part is the waffle uh outsole and it even extends past the heel counter almost up to the top of the the, the what do you call it? The, the the collar over there. So it's it's really it's it's really cool, guys. It's I'll just give you a little bit of a 360 view of it. It's so nice. It's so nice. Seriously, it's yeah. That booty though. That booty. <laughs> well, one thing I really liked about this sneaker as well is that if you ever feel like you're oh, I don't know why did I buy this sneaker? You just have to look at the back of the tongue and read. And it says there, the intelligent choice. So if you ever need any more information in buying this sneaker, just look at the back of the tongue. <laughs> yeah, so a lot of uh, collaborations with this one already. So Casablanca had two collaborations already with this sneaker. There's not many cons I can say about this this silhouette. The only one that I could, I can, I'll have to probably have to say is probably that some of these nylon parts. I feel really thin and they might feel a little bit well cheap is what is what I can say but uh, it's it is technically a hundred fifty dollar sneaker so it's not like one of those three hundred dollar ones where the leather is really thick stiff and it feels really durable whereas these ones are really light 
Uh, but I, I do think they're still durable, but it's just, it feels like it's really thin. It's a kind of a cheap material. That's the only gripe I can have about this sneaker. It's not even a really big one, especially with the, uh, the, with the pros that it already has. So the pros are that it is, oh, I think they're strikingly good looking, very handsome, very sexy kind of thing. But uh, also it is very light. And it's very, very comfortable. Uh, so it's it's really hard to go wrong with all those. Oh, and it's $150 as well. So it's pretty cheap. It's not the cheapest. Uh, I, I'll admit that. Like $150 is still a lot of money. But compared to other sneakers like Jordans and, you know, all these other Adidas sneakers, that, you know, $150 is, is a nice change. <laughs> so, yeah. it's, it's So it's got those three kind of uh, seals of approval for me. The price, comfort, the style. It's got all three, so I definitely highly recommend these sneakers to you guys. And uh, yeah, I, I would really like to see in the comments what you guys think about these ones. Let me know your opinions. Uh, let me know what colorways you do like and what did you think when you first actually saw it? Because my first thoughts when I saw it is just like, oh man, these are sick. These look cool. Like, I mean... I don't have a lot of um, New Balance sneakers, especially I don't have those really expensive ones like the $300 997s and the 1080s kind of thing made in UK, made in England, USA, all that kind of stuff. I don't have those ones. I really do want them, but they're a little bit out of my price range at the moment. So especially because I have to buy so many to review for you guys. So yeah, I'd rather stick to these ones where like, you know, they're, they're more affordable and you know, they're, they're a lot more accessible to you guys. So that's why I, I like reviewing them. And yeah, so that's why it, it was really striking when I first saw it. Uh, but usually with sneakers, new different kind of silhouettes, I tend to kind of wait a little bit, which is kind of bad because usually by the time they grow into me, uh, so I grow into them, I kind of, yeah, the, the, the colorways that I really, really like are already sold out. So it's, it's hard for, I don't, that's why I don't jump on trends straight away, but yeah, I'd like to take my time, especially, you know, when you have to spend money, you got to be like really, really sure. Like, oh, I really, really like it. That's when you buy it kind of thing. But sometimes I get lucky and I can uh, get the, the colorways that I like. But in this case, I was able to just settle for these ones. I mean, there's other ones like the, you know, the gray day ones that I, I mentioned before. I really do like those ones. They're probably my favorite colorway so far. Um, but these ones, you know. I'm pretty happy. I'm really, I'm really happy. I'm not going to say like, oh yeah, I'm happy with these ones, but I am actually ecstatic about these ones. I tried them on. They look sick, bro. Especially the top. The top has like Yeezy vibes, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, also, it's very light. It's very comfortable. Oh, it's so good. And uh, yeah, definitely the pros outweigh the cons. It's a very good, uh, you know, it gives a high recommendation for me anyway guys let me know what your comments are in the comment section below and uh yeah if you like the video give me a thumbs up if you like the content in general please give me a subscribe and uh you know a really big thank you to you guys and please guys please stay safe please look after your families look after yourself and uh you know let's get through this COVID 19 together anyways i'll see you guys in the next one peace You are my world in every place